One of the questions came in this month from Les sent in a question. Will USB ever come into use in networking or is it already in use? And this may kind of make sense because almost every device you would ever run into these days has a USB interface on it. And we use USB interfaces for so many different things. We plug in our keyboard, we plug in our mouse, we plug in our camera, and we're able to connect and communicate because it's a serial connection. For those of you that have been around for a while, with even the old school systems, the serial ports that were on those devices, the 9600 baud, the 19,200 baud serial ports that were on those systems, those serial ports allowed you to communicate in and out. In fact, a lot of companies would make these null modem cables that you connected two devices up through their serial ports and you were able to transfer files through that cable. One of the first ways of networking devices together. I have an old Laplink cable here myself somewhere where I was able to do things like that. Very, very useful to have that capability. So at one point, we were using USB connections or, or serial connections to be able to do that. USB is kind of a new version of serial. It's still serial. That serial's right in the name, the S and USB. But we don't tend to use it for direct USB to USB connections, do we? And part of the reason for that probably is almost every device we run into these days has either a wireless connection or a wired Ethernet port right on the device. We don't necessarily have to use USB. Now, one of the things you've probably seen, however, is that a lot of the new laptops are so thin. You ever see them? They're these tiny little laptops now. They're, they're paper thin, it seems. They're so, so thin. But you'll notice they're so thin, but there's nowhere to plug a cable in. They do everything wirelessly. But what if you don't have a wireless network? And what if the only thing you have is an Ethernet connection that you've been given? There's nowhere to plug in. So you'll notice a lot of manufacturers have created USB to Ethernet interfaces. So we're sort of using the USB interface to network. We're plugging in a converter that converts it from USB to Ethernet and back again. Or we're plugging it into a Thunderbolt connection or a FireWire connection, all using that USB interface to make that happen. So not directly USB networking, but certainly that is something that gives us an option for plugging in a network connection. I even have, do I even have it here? I do. I have a, a USB to serial connection. So I have to configure a lot of firewalls and I've got this, this USB port on one side and on the other side, a nine pin serial connection. And I plug that into my infrastructure device and I'm able to communicate because my laptop doesn't have a serial port on it because, you know, it's not 10 years old. Some, some laptops still have these serial ports and I think they still have them because people like me need serial interfaces. But it's really hard to find them these days. So there's a USB to serial port, sort of like networking. I'm plugging into these infrastructure devices like a switch or a router or a firewall, and I'm able to configure it with that interface that goes from USB to serial. So you've got some options for networking. You almost never see a USB to USB network, but kind of nice to have that option of plugging in USB and turning it into some type of known network connection.